So hello everybody, I'm Eva and here with me, although virtually, is the beautiful Antonia. So hi and welcome to The Voice TV. Hey, it's always virtually. So last time that I had, uh, I did an interview for Bulgaria, it was, also, it was also virtual. It was for the song Typhoon. And I'm so mad that I can't go there, you know? I, I, like, I want to sit down with you guys and just be able to, to talk like normal people. These times are weird. I know, we'd love to have you here. As long as the world reopens, you're more than welcome to come join us in the studio for a, an actual conversation, it would be great. All right, but don't forget, okay? <laughs> never, never. <laughs> it's being promised on TV, so we're doing great. it. It's happening. So I, I have you here today to speak a bit more about your latest hit, Benny Hanna, which is an amazing song, yet another one, a huge hit here in Bulgaria. So, do you want to tell me a bit more about the inspiration behind the song and how you came up with it? So, actually, the song was actually pitched to me. Um, uh, I I didn't even get to meet Pete, if you can if, if you can imagine. I haven't oh, gotten wow. to meet him yet. Yeah, because of our schedules and everything that happened, and uh, everything that happened, as in like I was filming remember what I had but I had some projects to do and then he left the country or something it was, it was it was like fast you know what I was saying is that I think that it's cool because I was kind of scared to to actually release the song because I was saying don't you guys think it's like too summery you know it's like really yeah. it's like a summerish vibe and then I was like what the heck it doesn't even matter if it's like a good if it gives you like great vibes why not you know yeah, it definitely does. Although you're right, it does have the, the vibe of a summer hit. To um, me, it's like this oriental, like summery vibe. I don't know, it's like sexy, you know, I mean, sexy can be in any season, but you know what I mean. Yeah. So yeah. I thought it was interesting and I, I was happy to do it. And I like that part where I sing because I feel like it represents me. I really like singing like uh, also like urban style, you know? Yeah, yeah. It suits really you, sure. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so tell me, was this your first time actually working with Pitt and with uh, Guilty Pleasure? Yeah, just like I said, it was my first time. Never ever met him, but uh, looking forward to it because we have a freaking song together. So. <laughs> so you did all of this like online, on Zoom or whatever? I did it. No, I didn't do it on Zoom. They, they pitched the song to me. I went to the studio. I tried it out and they they ended up liking the version of me on it also. And they're like, so do you guys, you know, should we, let's release it. And I said, okay. And it just happened like that. All Not right. very like a cool story about it, but I mean, I think that some great things can happen like that too, you know, in this type oh, of way. Of course. Definitely, for sure. And I was gonna ask you about, you, you just told me that you've never met them, but like, I was gonna ask you about the shooting of the video. You can still tell me a bit more about the video though, like the process of it. The video I actually shot in this, um, there's like this place, it's called Vulcani Noroyosh. And it's like this, like a it's famous place out here where um, a lot of tourists come to see the, it's like this little, what do you call those? I'm with my dad. Oh, <laughs> so it's like hills, yeah, but there's like bubbles that come out of it. It's like muddy, muddy volcanoes, kind of like little mini muddy volcanoes, you know. So it's like, I a, don't, it's like but a, okay, that sounds interesting. You gotta look it up on 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 Google. Anyways, people I will go there to see it, you know. And it was actually a very cold day, and I had to act like it was hot, you know. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but it was it was nice and quick. The video was also shot really. Uh, I couldn't stay on set anymore, so I said, "I'm sorry, I, I gotta go." Do you have like a favorite moment from the shooting of the video? Like something funny maybe that happens that you would like to share? Like I said, it was it was so like I feel bad because I don't have like such a special story about it. But the the funny thing was that I never shot a video. In such short time, you know what I mean? I stayed, it literally took me like two hours and I was gone. I was like, oh, I'm wow. sorry, I can't. Yeah, because it was it was cold and I had like a tank top on, you know, and I I don't really, like I'm not in the mood, you know, when it's like, blah, 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 you know, I can't be like, <laughs> hey, sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, okay, I think I've, oh no, I've got you. I thought I lost you for a second again. 
I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Can you hear me though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So, do you plan on doing more collaborations in the future with other artists or are you thinking of doing more like solo singles? You know, I never think about this because this is going to sound weird. Like, I, I don't think about my next project. I do, but um, whatever, if whatever is like a pitch to me or if somebody gives me a good idea or is like, look, look at this song, you know, we should do this together. And if it sounds great to me and I like it, why not? I'm always open to new things. Like, I had this amazing collaboration with Fady. Uh, if you know the song Trika Trika. Yeah. And that was also out of nowhere. You know, it was my first time meeting him and then we kept in touch and he's actually become one of uh, one of my friends. And we are actually, I mean, we've talked about making another song together. You know, I've had, uh, what other collaborations? I've had with um, Typhoon as well. Yeah. Which was, was, was a cool opportunity for me. I mean, the song out here, if you can believe it, didn't really have a lot of success. It had more success in, in Bulgaria than it did out here. Oh, yeah? Which is maybe, maybe it's something sad, I guess, because it's like, you know, Roma it's like in Romanian and people should support it and everything. But I'm not mad about it. I mean, I'm happy that it had success out there and I'm open... I mean, I would collaborate anytime with any other Bulgarian artist if the song is cool, you know, and I like it. And I always talk about this one Bulgarian girl that always stays in my mind. I think her name is Mihaela Fileva or something. Yeah, yeah. We have a singer named Mihaela Fileva. I think she's great. She's amazing. She's had this tour um, a couple of years ago with and I met, I mean, I met her there or I didn't meet her there. I think I was in my hotel room. And I was watching your guys' music channel and her song came on and I was like, who is this? You know, and I started looking at her on YouTube and I think she's she's really, she's dope. I like her. Yes, she is amazing. I would love to hear something that the two of you come up with together. That would actually be something great. Why not? Why not? We should get her in this conversation. Like, we should give her a call right now. Hey, yo, Mihaela, do you want to do this? Maybe, she, maybe she's like, who the heck is Antonia? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm sure that wouldn't happen. You see, I'm not, I'm not really aware of like my, you know, of how many people know me. I mean, how many, you know what I mean? Like if I'm popular out there or not, because I've, I've been doing a lot of different, a lot. I've been doing some interviews out in Bulgaria, you know, and people are telling me that my songs are, are popular out there, but I'm not, you know, I'm not aware of how, you know, popular, if people really know me. So that's why I'm saying, I don't know if she knows me. <laughs> I'm sure she knows you and people here love you and love your music. That's for sure. I can tell you that. Yeah, you are very popular in all of your songs. And you already mentioned uh, Typhoon with Toto. I was going to ask you about it, obviously. But tell me a bit more about the uh, you collaborating with him. You didn't get to meet him, I guess, or did you? Like, No, no I didn't get to oh meet him. God. I'm only talking about like collaborations that I didn't even get to meet people in another <laughs> collaboration. Like really quick that I forgot to tell you, I had this song Dinero, and uh, I collaborated also with a Mexican artist. Never got to meet her in person either. So I would love to come perform Typhoon in Bulgaria, like live, live to meet Toto, like up front. I think he would. I think he's a really like down to earth and a really funny person because we had a couple of interviews together, and he seemed like really laid back and was like making jokes and stuff. So I like those yeah. kind of people. They they make me feel good. He's like that. I'm sure you'd love him when you when you meet him live. I'm, I'm keeping sure my too. fingers crossed for you that it's gonna happen soon because it's really crazy how you've been doing all of this and never getting to meet people because of this stupid pandemic. Like I know, I know. It's crazy for everyone. I mean, it's not just the, yeah. the music, you know. And and it's crazy because everyone keeps talking about. This is the only thing that everyone keeps talking about, and the the vaccination. And it's, it's like it's, I'm so tired of it. I think we all are. <laughs> We all are, definitely. So I'm really hoping that soon enough this is going to be put to an end and we're going to forget that it ever happens and just move on with our lives. I know. Me too. Either way, though, to, to go back to, to the topic, forget about the pandemic. Let's right. not talk about that. <laughs> Tell me, do you have like an artist that you would really, really want to collaborate with? It could be a person from anywhere in the world. Maybe, I don't know, Beyonce or whatever. Like, 
I stopped saying, I mean, actually, I don't think I ever said, or did I when I was younger? So Beyonce is like my top, top, like she's everything to me. And ever since I've, I, I, like I was small, I used to always look up to her and I can't really say I have an idol. I just can say that I really appreciate her work and everything, but I just yeah. feel like she's just so big that I can't even imagine doing a collaboration with her. You know what I mean? It's like a yeah. Michael Jackson type or something. So more realistic I mean I think in my dreams and stuff I would like to work with like I said I'm a really big fan of urban music so I like uh, Danny Lay if you know about Danny Lay yeah. I like yeah. Tanache I like uh, Lil Baby I like Meg Thee Stallion I mean I, I would like to make this like feel good music you know what I mean that's I'm kind of an artist that that sings a little bit about everything you know and love sad songs and um sexy songs that put you in the mood but also I like feel good music you know so that'd be cool if I could collaborate one of these two people they're really cool to me and they're really great artists I'm sure you will one day and I can't wait to hear what you guys come up with oh that's mm -hmm. that's positive thinking thank you <laughs> of course always and speaking of sexy songs I can't not mention I think I love him which was your summer hit. I'm obsessed with this song. When it came out, I was at the seaside and I was just playing it in my car over and over and over again, like going to the beach. It's so addictive. Tell me more about this song. See, that's so sweet. And I'm so happy to hear that because once again, that song was a fail. Or like for me, like on YouTube, I try not to look at the views, you know, because We've, we've concentrated, I don't know if it's the same thing in Bulgaria, but I mean, out here, everyone is so concentrated on being in trending and like, you know, yeah. getting a lot of views and stuff, which somehow like, somehow it, it kind of is like, it confirms if it's like a hit or not, you know, because if you see a lot of people that access to your song, it obviously means that it's really popular, you know, so it didn't make a lot of views as much as views as I as I wished it would but that's one of one of my songs that I really love as well which was written by uh, uh, Romanian people out here that are from my uh, from my music label yeah and uh, I felt it like I, I like that song a lot too I thought it was really sexy and I thought it was like really perfect for clubbing you know especially in yeah. the summertime definitely I absolutely loved it so Forget YouTube, it's amazing. I'm telling you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. At least you like it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I absolutely love it. All of us here do, by the way. When it came out, we, we were playing it all the time on, on TV, on the radio, and everybody was just like, oh my God, yeah, it's amazing. See, I, I need to feel some of that, you know, because that really motivates me. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm really active online. I don't know what's happening, you know what I mean? But now that you tell me, I'm happy to know that. I'm happy that I can make you happy saying that. And yeah, it's true. It's an amazing song. <laughs> Keep going. Thank um, you. Of course, I want to ask you, is there anything that you would like to say to the Bulgarian people who love you and listen to your music? Because there's so many of them here, for real. I'm not just saying that. I mean, I would absolutely say that um, I'm really happy to know that. And um, I mean, that's 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 one of my biggest reasons why I love making music is because I know it sounds so cliche, but trust me, like when you hear that people appreciate it, your music and they feel so good, you know, listening to it and they really appreciate you, it motivates you and it makes you want to keep going. And of course, the special talk that everyone has and the message that is actually is always going to be true is that without their support, I mean, you don't exist. You know what I mean? So I, I want to thank them so much for listening to my music and I got to come out there soon. Definitely. I would love to have a concert out there. Please and do. Please do. We would love to have you here. I would love it as well. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I want to say. <laughs> well, thank you, Antonia, for spending this time with us. Even though you're on your way thank to meet you your too. kids, you're just like multitasking right now. But thank you so much. I'm on the street. <laughs> yeah. Look at this traffic. Ooh. The traffic is horrible, so <laughs> it's, so it's you're here. But you're like... really beautiful, and you know how to speak good English. Congrats oh, for that. <laughs> Thanks.
and so are you. Thank you so much for this conversation. And I'm really hoping that I'm going to see you again soon. And this time, maybe live. Oh, did I lose you? Oh, did you lose me? No. Can you hear me? I heard you. I said I heard that you said thank you and everything. I just didn't know what else you said. Is that wait? Is that all you said? Just like thank you so much, and I would really love to see you live soon. Me too, and it was nice to meet you, and thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. It was a great conversation, and we'll keep in touch. And we're sure. gonna have you over for an interview next time you release an amazing song as well. I would love it. Thanks you. Thanks you. I said thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Have an amazing Bye. day.